It smells like lobsters. It might be a kind of savoury pudding, which is all right. Since she's finished her pork sauce, Jason's moved Deborah onto the custard tarts as well. Do you think that that looks about the right colour, doesn't it? We don't want to go too creamy. I want to um, try that. I don't know. I've got no idea what you're doing. You could be making a nuclear bomb. Well, I don't really know what I'm doing either. The captain's just moments away. Start to clear down so it's nice and clean when the captain comes in, rather than looking like a pigsty. And Jason is getting into character. Captain and esteemed guests, I present our menu de Lisboa. Your main will be roasted pork belly con pimi pimenta, ber pimenta bermelia, bermelia do Jose. But whilst the head chef's been learning his lines, Marco secretly put an extra canapé of tuna on the table. His intention is to give Jason more time for his pork to cook. Jason is not impressed. This is not a part of my menu, so this is not going on. Done. And now neither is Marco. Where's the tuna? Who's moved the tuna? Um, gosh, I don't know. Where's it gone? Well, someone's moved the tuna. Where was it put? Just the, here. I put it on the table. OK. My role is very simple. I listen and I watch. And if they want my help, that's their choice. It wasn't on the menu, so I don't know where it's gone. Some people want to swim and some people want to sink. It's that simple. It was, I think it was a, an addition, was it? Luckily, the tuna investigation is going to have to be put on ice. This. Yes. Over in the top is the cream inside. Oh, yeah. liquid. How? Liquid? Exactly liquid. Liquid. Inside. Inside. Looks like oh. liquid inside. So oh, all you liquid. need to do is you just hack the top off yeah. and you give them little breadsticks and it's like an instant fondue. Yes. Okay. Can we get six? Six of those. Yeah, definitely. 